Hi everyone, uh, this is the latest rotary aircraft that I've been working on. It is a 250 class uh, racing quad. Um, it's called the RoboCat and it's distributed by Hobby King. Um, it is a mini quadcopter. The wheelbase size, diagonal size, is actually 270 millimeters. I bought this mainly because it looks pretty cool. I'm never actually going to be you know, a racing quadcopter guy. I'm not actually going to be racing them very fast ever. But this one is one of the few that looked really cool because it has this outer shell and it's uh, you know sort of up high, got a lot of space for all the componentry. Um, so I really liked it. What I'd like to do first up is uh, just take you through all of the components that I've chosen and the way I've assembled it. I'll let you know that it is uh, full carbon fibre. Uh, there's a four millimetre carbon fibre base and um, the the arms are 4 millimeter carbon fiber. The base is, I think, about 2, and then the rest of the components are 1.5 or 2 millimeter carbon fiber as well. And uh, all aluminum standoffs throughout. What I'll do now is I'll just give you a quick run through the whole system uh, to sh show you how it's put together and how it's assembled. I need my tr trusty hex driver here to, um, to open it up, and then we'll take a quick look inside. Okay, so here we are, all close and personal. Now I've taken the two locking nuts off, and as you can see, this will now allow us to just slide or open up the entire uh, canopy here, so we can get down into the componentry. What I really liked about this quadcopter was that there was space for a lot of different components, and everything was laid out neatly, and everything had its own spot. Uh, to start with, you can see here, um, it's built up of two levels of a, a, a bottom deck and that actually provides a lot of strength and rigidity. In between we have this uh, extra carbon plate sandwiched in as well. Now down here underneath, uh, in between these two uh, carbon fiber uh, levels is where I've got all my power distribution and uh, also the ESCs. I'm using BL Heli 16 amp ESCs uh, with one shot enabled uh, and they're all sandwiched in here. At the back here we have the XT60 connector, there's a nice space for that as well. Um, the wires from the ESC are these black and white ones that run up and onto the top here which is the, uh, this is uh, a NASE32 board which is the actual flight controller. Back here I've put in a BEC um, that's because the uh, ESCs down the bottom don't have a BEC built in. So the BEC here is just a small uh, Hobby King BEC and that's just there to power up the naze board. Moving on to the front here. Um, so here is a board camera and this is the Sony PZ420 or whatever it's called board camera, just a standard board camera and it's been pre-angled uh, inside you may not be able to see it from this angle, but it's been pre-angled at 10 degrees upwards So you, you, you're looking forward during forward flight Okay, just under here. I've mounted um, My free sky D4R2 receiver under here. So we've got telemetry running through here uh, back to the nase board uh, To the receiver also up here. I've put in an antenna mount system. I'm not sure if you can quite see it in there but uh, basically the receiver antennas come out to the sides and they angle at 90 degrees uh, on the sides there. From the front here, this is where you can see the camera and it's angled slightly upwards at 10 degrees. Okay, now just working forward from our receiver, uh, back here is where I put the video transmitter. They did provide a space for the video transmitter right on top here, uh, but I actually wanted to mount my Mobius camera here, uh, simply because there was no other space to, to put a, a video recording device. Um, so my video transmitter is on the tail end here, and I'll just uh, you know sort of uh, tape that in there with double-sided tape, and we've got the it's a 200 milliwatt video transmitter with a eight, uh, an Omway uh, 5.8 gigahertz uh, circularly polarized antenna. On top, of course, is the Mobius, um, so I wanted to be able to record in high def from here as well, so you know, I did put a Mobius on the top of there as well. Um, now in order to do that, um, you might be able to see, I had to, this is the carbon plate that came with the unit. I had to add a little um, a foam block 
This is just a foam block with some black tape on it uh, over the top, which I've put so that it just elevates the Mobius a little bit um, and gets the lens above the shell here. So you can just get the you know get a view above that shell with with the Mobius on. Uh, I've also added lights, so you can see here these these here are, are lights. These are red lights on the back, and on the front is white lights. There was no place to really to mount the lights, so I made my own little sort of platform out of foam. Again, um, I used some core flute board to make the front of it, and some uh, Depron foam at the back, and then I just um, put some black. Um, packing tape over the top of that and that came out pretty nice actually it provided somewhere for the wires to run through as well and then the front and the back have lights on it um, so what I'll do is I'll just screw this back together and I'll turn it on and I'll quickly show you the lights okay so I've put the screws back in on the sides uh, the top is now secure uh, one of the really neat things about this frame is that it provides really nice space and protection for the battery. So this is a 2203 cell, there's plenty of room in there. Um, and we just put the battery in the back here, plenty of space, and it's protected in the, in the event of a crash. So we're just going to plug the battery on in. Now you can see the... Uh, battery. battery critical. Yeah, transmitter's responding uh, with the telemetry. So that's the red lights on the back and white lights on the front. I think that'll look pretty cool when it's flying around. So hopefully I'll be able to show you just a quick maiden.